Welcome to the FSU Broncos post-game press conference after we just had a, a tough last-second loss to Benedict, 56-55. Coach, can you open up the floor with your initial comments of today's game? Um, I'm very proud of our team. Uh, they were number 21 in the nation. Uh, you know, the game didn't end the way exactly that we wanted to, uh, but we had a very slow start in terms of our offense. We didn't shoot the ball very well, and so we were playing from behind most of the game. Uh, you know, but it was a hard-fought game. Um, we had big plays all throughout the game. Um, it's just at the end, we just got to do some things a little bit differently to, to tie up, uh, to finish up against teams that are, are ranked high in the nation. Tisha, could you give us your student athlete perspective of today's game? Um, like coach, like coach said, we fought hard, um, and our biggest, like, we should have hit free throws. I feel like that was our biggest key for this game: free throws and rebounding. Um, we stuck with them. We put up a fight, so you know we got to. They got to give us our respect. And we did better with rebounding tonight than we have in the past against most teams. And we knew that that's something that we had to focus on was the rebounding. Um, and then also eliminating uh, their threes. But like she said, free throws definitely hurt us uh, towards the end. You know, when you play great, good teams and, and ranked teams, you got to do all those, those little things. At this time, we'll open the floor to the attending media. down the very end to get the three-point play. What, what were y'all trying to do and how did she kind of get away from you there? Well, I'm not even sure how she got away from us because we did a good job the first time. And basically, we were just trying to mimic what we did the, uh, the play before where we were trying to make sure that the ball doesn't come in bounds. We have a taller person on the floor jump, jumping but, uh, and, and try to make sure that, um, that we don't get the ball in. But um, Katisha did hit the ball. It's just the loose ball they came yeah. up with, and it was just, you know, it just didn't go our way, unfortunately, at, at that point when she, because it wasn't that we didn't get our hand on the ball. We just didn't come up with the loose ball. Yeah. And then with two seconds to play, you get the ball. What, what were you kind of looking for well, out of that timeout? Well, we were just trying to uh, get the ball in quickly, maybe get off a three potentially because it's two seconds. Uh, our other uh, sideline plays, it, you know, would eat up a little bit more clock. Um, but we, you know, we looked a little surprised sometimes that we received the ball. So, I mean, we, it just, you know, and it just the way it happened. I mean, two seconds, uh, that's enough time to get a shot off, but it, you know, it didn't happen. Do you feel like this was a good test for your team at this point? In the season? I think it's a great test. I mean, I don't think you could take a negative from this game. Um, like I said, it's a ranked team. Uh, we have to learn from it. Uh, we're, we were in the ball game the whole time. We, we've had it won. Uh, but when you're trying to close out against good teams, you got to do all the little things, which is even come up with the loose ball, hit free throws. You know, you got to shoot better. We shot 60%. You know, our goal was to shoot 70% or better. We shoot 70%. We hit, we, we win the game. So we hit most of those goals. We did, eat, we even eliminated their um, offensive rebounds because they usually out rebound teams by 15 or more. Um, now we got out rebounded by three, but all the things that we wanted to cut down, I think we did that. It's just, unfortunately, we lost by one. Yeah. Tisha, what were you thinking after that first quarter? Um, did you feel like y'all could get back in it or? I mean, what kind of got y'all back in in that second quarter? Um, most definitely, um, we always say game ain't over yet. We got three more quarters to go. Like, so we just keep out here in the game and keep pushing, keep fighting. Uh, did you feel like when you make that shot in the lane with 11 seconds to go, did you kind of feel like that was going to win it for you guys? Um, at the same time, yes, and at the same time, no. But. Um, game ain't over until the um, buzzer um, go off. So we could, we had to keep fighting. And that last possession they got an M1, it um, hit the game. So when, you know, Katisha makes that basket mm -hmm. and then Chantel gets the steal mm -hmm. right after it, um, 
what do you talk to her about? I mean, would you have preferred maybe she held up? And oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's understanding. Maybe run a couple yeah, more seconds yeah it's, it's about understanding game situation. Um, you know, as well as I know, if you miss that layup, it, it could look like how it ended for us today. If we make that layup, it could be different, but you want to pull that out, eat up that clock, and ensure that we win, win that game or eat up enough time where they have to foul and then we go to the free throw line and hit those shots. But it was actually, you know, we got two shots. So we missed the layup, we got the rebound, and we still go back up when we should, be pu when we should pull that ball out and uh, take up time off the clock. I mean, that's what you have to do. But, you know, it's neither here nor there. The play is gone. You, you still have to go down and play defense, which is what we had to do. We, we hit one of those free throws, which you want to hit both in case they hit a three. Of course, they hit a th had a three-point play. But – you know, you know that that's the possibility if, if that happens, which is why you want to pull the ball out. Hmm. All right. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.